the strategies that have helped help move Georgia forward, I mean, they have to be adapted to specifics of individual states, but they're not that different. One of the, I mean, they're not, not applicable, they're applicable in other states. And one of the keys to that has been the emphasis that's been placed on expanding the electorate. And what I mean by that is both reaching people who are not registered and have never uh, found a value in being registered, have never seen a reason to participate, and also reaching people who are registered, but also have never found a value in participating and sharing the messages about uh, why voting affects their everyday lives. Um, that's particularly important for us now in these Senate runoffs uh, because there's a lot of um, uh, sometimes noise, sometimes discourse and good information at the national level and in the press about the effect on the Senate. And you mentioned this, Aaron, when I came, came on, you talked about some of that. The, the messaging that's really important to voters is how it affects everyday life, because that's what motivates them to take time out of pandemic stressed, busy time to go ahead and, and get to the polls or vote by mail. So uh, we have a voter registration window that's open until December 7th. Uh, so a lot of groups are working on reaching Georgians who are not yet registered um, and informing them about why to register and about this particular unique opportunity um, in the Senate runoff. I do wanna address one thing here about voter registration. Um, and, and Doug in his remarks had said something about people moving to Georgia and registering. There's actually no evidence of that. Uh, it is illegal. Yes. And it is being, uh, it is misinformation uh, that's been uh, amplified and created by people who want to undermine what we're doing. So I really encourage people to not share that. Um, people who have, national folks who have said they are coming to Georgia, they said they were came, coming here to work on the races. They were not exactly. coming here to register. And that it's been this, uh, springboard from that. So let me just um, set that aside, but I did want to address it directly. Um, it does relate to one other thing we're working on though, and, and uh, Fair Fight uh, Action has really got a lead in this, um, is we're working on messaging and helping people find positive ways to get the word out and respond to misinformation without amplifying that information, misinformation. Um, and so focusing on the messages we want Georgia has demonstrably had fair elections. We were very successful in running safe, secure elections where every vote was counted and is being counted now for the third time. Mm -hmm.